Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Ink Nouveau. And the purpose of today's video is I want to share with you some of my thoughts about what are the best pens for students, be it high school, college, grad school, PhD, whatever the case may be. You students out there are kind of a special group. I think some of the most important features for you for a pen are affordability, uh, writability, reliability, and durability. So I'm gonna pick out my favorite pens here in the $50 or less range and share with you my thoughts about all of their pros and cons. The one thing I do wanna say with all these pens is that prices will vary I'll share with you some of the prices that I'm familiar with, maybe some of the list prices, but keep in mind, if you're shopping at different places, you may see it range a little bit from what I'm telling you, and prices may go up if this video gets to be a year or two old. Just kind of keep that in mind. The Pilot Metropolitan is one of my favorite pens. I think it's one of the best all-around pens in terms of writability, durability, attractiveness, um, and affordability. So uh, it's, it's an essentially a $15 to $18 pen. The list price is actually $18.75 as of the making of this video, but you can find it $15 most everywhere. And that comes with a converter. Pretty cool to get a pen that cheap that comes with a converter. Writes really well. The only drawback is it only comes in a medium nib, but it's a Japanese pen, so the medium nib is really more like a fine uh, with like a Lamy or, or maybe another brand that you might be fam familiar with that comes maybe from Germany or Europe. So it's a pretty fine writing pen, very durable, reliable. About the only drawback is that the converter that comes with it is not clear, so you have to kind of check the pen every now and then just to make sure you're full of ink. But that's really about the only draw drawback. I highly, highly recommend this pen. Lamy has a great range of pens. One of the most popular ones for students is the Lamy Safari. It's an affordable pen, it's under $30. It does not come with a converter though, so you gotta make sure to pick one of those up unless you're gonna stick to the cartridges. One of the only drawbacks is that it does have proprietary cartridges and converters, so you're stuck, if you're using the cartridges, to the Lamy line of inks, and there's only like seven or eight colors. But if you go with a converter, you can use any bottled ink, and you'll get your dollar to stretch a lot further if you're using bottled ink over a long period of time. The reason people love the Lamy pens is because they're incredibly durable, they come in a lot of fun colors, and they have a lot of different nib size options as well. You can get anything from an extra fine through a broad, even into calligraphy nibs like 1.1, 1.5, and 1.9 millimeter italics. Usually if you're a student, you're using more economical paper, so you're gonna wanna to stick to the finer nibs, but the Lamy uh, Safari, the All Star, and the Vista all have a great reputation with students. And even the Lamy Nex, which is kind of a newer pen that's come to the scene, but that's another great one too. Of course, I can't go without mentioning the Platinum Preppy. It's one of the best writing pens in its price range. It's incredibly affordable. Just a couple of dollars will get you set up with the pen. Now, if you do want to get a converter to use with bottled ink, you're going to pay about twice what you would for the pen just to get the converter. But keeping in mind the converter you can use over and over and over again on a variety of pens. If you don't want to go for the converter, you can always stick with the cartridges, but they're proprietary platinum cartridges and you're going to be stuck with the very limited colors that platinum offers with those cartridges. However, the Platinum Preppy's got a cool thing. It converts to an eyedropper. So for the price of a couple O-rings and some silicone grease, you can get set up very inexpensively and have a very stable pen. The only thing about this pen is that uh, it can tend to crack if you are being really rough with it, so you don't want to go dropping it on concrete and stuff. But it's cheap enough where if you lose it or drop it, it's not the end of the world. Another good cheap pen is the Pilot Varsity. Now technically these are marketed as a disposable pen. They come preloaded with ink. You buy the pen with an ink color that kind of corresponds to the matching accents on the pen. It's meant to be used up and then tossed out. It's only a couple of bucks to get it, so it's not the end of the world. However, there is a hack that you can do to refill them, essentially refilling it as an eyedropper pen. I haven't done a video on this. There's some out there on YouTube but it can be done for those of you who are determined to do so. It's a great writing pen. It's very durable. Uh, it's fairly attractive for the price range that it is. And the best part about it, if you lose it or drop it, or it runs out of ink, it's not the end of the world. They're cheap enough to keep on buying more. The Noodler's pens, meaning the Nib Creeper, the Conrad, and the Ahab, 
are inexpensive, and that is very tempting as a student to want to look at these pens. However, these pens are kind of a special case. It's not necessarily the pen that I would recommend to someone who's brand new to fountain pens. If you've got some experience and you've got some other, you know, reliable pens in your collection, I would maybe, you know, then take a look at the Noodler's pens. You can use them for student purposes. Uh, however, they do write really, really wet. So if you're using them on cheap paper, you're probably not gonna be too thrilled with how they perform. And they also tend to go through ink pretty quickly. However, it's really fun pens to play around with. They're very affordable and a great value for what they are. And they're really fun to mess around with, especially if you're into any kind of artwork. So that's when you should take a look at those pens. Now the Schaefer VFM is not a pen that gets a lot of attention. It's a relatively new pen. Uh, and it comes in a variety of fun colors. It's very durable, writes really nicely, uh, and it's really affordable. It's, you know, sub $20 pen. So it's definitely worth a look. However, it has one major drawback. Aside from the fact that it only comes in a medium nib, the pen only takes standard international cartridges. It doesn't fit any converter. So you're limited to the cartridges. However, the standard international cartridges are used by a lot of different manufacturers like Diamine, Montblanc, uh, Omos, Monograppa, Private Reserve, J. Urban. So you have a lot of, you know, hundreds of different options for your cartridge colors. You do have to kind of hunt around and find them a little bit, but they are available. So if you're already in the habit of using cartridges regularly, this is probably a pen that you want to take a look at. If you like the Schaefer pens, kind of like that metal durable style, I would take a look at the Schaefer 100. It's a little bit more expensive. It's gonna be pushing the $40 range, but it is very durable. It's a nice writer, comes in some attractive options, uh, and it's gonna be nice and reliable for you. Now it is kind of pushing the limit, getting more towards that expensive end of the price range. So that definitely has to be taken into consideration. It may not be a best first pen, but definitely one you should take a look at. A pretty new pen that's come to the scene is the Platinum Cool. Now this is a pen that's kind of interesting because it is not marketed as a flex nib pen, but it definitely does have a bit of flex to it. However, it's really only when you try to flex it that you'll do it. So you can certainly use it as a conventional pen. It does come from Japan, so the nibs tend to be fairly fine. So if you have really junky paper that tends to absorb ink like crazy, go with the fine nib on this one and you'll have a really good shot of being able to use it on just about any paper that you're stuck using. Um, and another really cool thing is that it comes in a demonstrator. You can see the ink in it. It's a pretty attractive pen. It is kind of pushing more towards that $50 range. However, it does come with that pretty expensive platinum converter that is included with the pen. So that's really neat. It's certainly one you should check out. Lastly, I want to recommend to you the Twisby 580 and the Twisby Mini. These are two different pens that are very similar in their design. They are piston filling pens, so they have a very high ink capacity, which is a major plus, especially if you don't like to refill your pens all that often. Comes in a lot of different nib options, including italic nibs. You can swap the nibs between them so you can get a lot more utility without having to buy additional pens. They're very attractive and they're clear, so you can see your ink level, which is very convenient if you're not in the habit of opening up your pen and checking your ink very often. It is the most expensive of any of the pens I'm recommending here, so that certainly has to be taken into account. But if you have used fountain pens and it's a proven concept for you, you know you want to do it, it's probably worth investing in a little bit nicer pen if you know you're going to be using it a lot. If you've got any questions about these pens or any others for that matter, you can always leave a comment on my YouTube video or on Ink Nouveau, my blog, or you can hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Thanks so much for watching today and right on.